Good day viewers, you are welcome back to Dr. Peterson on the 17th trial tournament where today's match, uh, today is the final but the first match you are going to be witnessing is the match between Golden Boys and Iwiase Football Club where they will be struggling to get the third place as Golden Boys. And that's the who you are saying, boys. They'll be struggling for the third place for the under 17 Dr. Peterson trial tournament. And after this match, the next match you see is the finals. So let's see who is third place for the tournament. As a referee, Colin. For the boys, we are ready. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You are welcome to the member of the Abba Township Stadium. Today is the final day of the Dr. Peterson sponsored under 17 youth tournament. It's also known as the Talent Bank Tournament. At the moment, we are playing the third place match. And I can see one team, I think in New York, AFC, putting on the green stroke white jersey. And then the other team, Golden Boys FC, putting on black upon black. We are in the early minutes of the first half. And the match just started. Any moment from now, perhaps the goals will start coming in. And we will know who will take the bronze trophy. I don't know whether it is the Iwi Yase FC that will go home with the bronze medal, or it is the Golden Boys FC that will go home with the bronze medal. We will soon find out. But I can tell you at this moment that uh, it is that small boy happy, I think it is his name. Just number eight for Golden Boys who tried to control the ball but didn't quite get it. And now we see FC has taken over. And that far end, we see FC putting on green and white jersey upon green and white maker. That's a good part! But it's infiltrated, effectively infiltrated by that last man for Golden Boys. I think that topic was actually golden in nature. And so we are back to the field of play. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is... Uh, being handled by a number of seasoned referees. At the center of proceedings, we have Chris Lee Duru, a federal referee and national league referee for that matter. Assistant referee one, Jamaica Oden Nene, another national league referee. And the Peter referee to is the Kisley of Sawe, also a National League referee. The result referee is the Tukwebeke Ntwem, another National League referee. So ladies and gentlemen, here we have a team of seasoned National League referees who are handling the first place match. That shows you how important the match is to us. It is the golden boss with the ball. They try highly. That goes to my job. The ball rolls away. And it's a good kick. I think that was a, a NASA shot. 
from that golden boy attacker on the right wing. And the ball refused to sell it to the net. Situation is for ladies and gentlemen. If we are there, FC yet to score. Golden boy is FC yet to score. It is a good thing to be taken by who is the FC. Who is the FC? To go for the particular. Ball is FC to the center. The second is the top. But that five shares for Golden Boy, which has a high lift. So it's man, this is not just number 10. But that man couldn't quite connect his teammates in just number 9. How be it? Is he really are in control now? They are sending parties at that far end. And uh, that far appears to be a heavy top. But what is he going to do? He is going to pass by his man. Who could not quite get the ball? That defender hurriedly kicked it out. I can see a struggle for possession over there. Another cross into the box. What could come out of this? It is another exchange of parties from uh, the Golden Boys. And I can see their clothes flapping for them. And the coach appears to be happy with the way they wriggled out of that uh, trouble situation. It is Gothic advantage Golden Boys. The Gothic fan for Golden Boys who is putting on red jersey of a white black pants, positions the ball, raises his hand to direct his men to their positions. He takes a long kick across the center circle. It is the body one that to control the ball. Yes, they do. But uh, I can see the air and to flag him furiously to say that there was an infringement. And it's going to be a free kick advantage, Golden Boys. Is it going to be a long direct one into goal or a pass? Is he going to drop it in the end for a goal man scramble or what? Let us see. He lifts it. Oh! It is a goal! It is a goal! I don't get to any point. Good man. He just had a point, ladies and gentlemen. Golden points have seen one goal. He will have said yes to score. Play has resumed. And it is the Golden Boys again, that number 10 shares for Golden Boys, trying to keep one man. He beats him, he goes for the second man, and beats him too. And now he has his third man with him, will he be able to? That third man says, no, you beat me once, but I'm not sure I'll allow you to beat me again. This is just going to have a corner kick. That's what we have there, corner kick, advantage Golden Boys. What will they be able to achieve? Is it going to be an in-swinger or an out-swinger? It looks like it's going to be an out-swinger from the position of the kicker. Will this result to a second goal or will it be effectively defended? Let us watch and see. The referee gives a signal. That one is lifted up, but the other referee gives it out of the way. Raise the flag to say the ball calls the first flag. And so it is uh, a goal kick advantage. If you have to the ball, take the ball back to the six-yard line. You can't run it up, it's not outside, it's in blocking. So it has to be on the six-yard line. The ball has a popular position now, and that defender will go to take a move back. He's holding forward, he lifts it, a high one. Somewhere in the center circle, two there to go up, and they're not got it. I think the ball has rolled out uh, out of touch for a throw-in advantage going for it. These boys appear to be really good. I don't know why they are not contesting for the golden medal today. Well, maybe they didn't play well on the semi-final day. I think there's an infringement. A player of New Year's Day is down. And the coach of New Year's Day, coach the Lokuta, is in a popular position. He's worried that his boys are down by one goal. And let's see how it goes. If you see me, you're still in control of the ball. They tried to move forward. They didn't quite uh, get the pass they wanted to. But they're still in control of play. Jesse number, and this is Jesse number. But uh, the official referee there has a flag for an infringement. An infringement. And uh, the referee is running towards the other far end uh, to attempt an injured player of Golden Boys team. A player of Golden Boy team is injured and is on the ground. Is he going to receive medical attention in the form of pure water? Or will he have the real medical attention? Anyway, he has managed to get up. He's on his feet now. And the referee is dashing back 
to here it should be so that the picking can be taken by the Indian person. Let me just see now. That ball is lifted up. But I think the defense line of the Golden Boys is good enough to check that out. It is the Golden Boys pushing the ball forward now, trying to see whether they can get into the opponent's area. Are they able to do it? Even if they control the ball, he makes the pass to the right winger, who is going to the opponent. If you see the Golden Boys looking more mesmerizing, okay, even if they are again dropping it for an opponent. I'm sure that the coach will not be happy with uh, what his main players are doing. The flag has gone up from the uh, high school team to the away for outside play. Uh, and that is it. For outside play, he's the protesting that he was not uh, in an outside position. But I don't see how that can help him. It is the golden boy trying to defend that team. The control is this one. Is it going to be the same as it does? The second time. And leave the ball out. The way you have to miss it. And it will be a very advantage rolling boys. Player number 77 for rolling boys. Is the position of the ball now for the throw in? It takes a good one. But let me force him. And says uh, the, the throw will be returning in advantage in that the ball enters the field of play and then rolls out. But let's see what it is. If it's even your setting, try to see whether they can stay together a number of parties. They will be unable to do it effectively. And here we are with the ball safely in the hands of uh, the goalkeeper for goalie boys who are taking a long kick. It looks like he's from Goki Park to Goki Park. And then the Goki Park to him, he said, try to do one kick. He didn't quite get as long as the other one. But after continues, it is the Goki Boys in control of play. He said, he said, make it a classic effort to defend that and to ensure that they cannot continue a second goal, a clash of heads. And he let him force the Goki Boys player. So, Challenge, challenge, and you know yourself there. It's a big kick within the center circle. Advantage, you know yourself. That last man for you know yourself is going to take it. He lifts it up. And I can see a number of players running in. That you know yourself player had opportunity for playing it. But he didn't get it well. Ball is resting in the hands of the goalkeeper of uh, Golden Boys. Two sides, another high and long kick. I hear that this is it. Can go in for a little out of this. They are still in control, they are still extending packages. What does that matter from that right flank? He makes the back flank, the kick, and uh, nothing comes out of this, but they are still struggling to retain possession, and possession they retain. It is the golden boys, the yellow chested goalkeeper of the new USA. Cordial that one like a baby. Pick it up gently and leave it to your trouble. That is Golden Boys once more, dancing by this left hand side. They try to, oh, that one goes, I think, uh, the assistant referee on the other side, TV of Kawe, has kicked an outside infringement against the Golden Boys. And so it's going to be a free kick, actually an indirect free kick, and that is Golden Boys. Why play was all going? One of the the last first men and mass commissioners for a camp in the free society who is also a mass commissioner at the national league level. The country by the day of the day of the day of the day of the day. Thank you very much for coming. I also saw the most prominent football fan in this camera. On Monday, he walked into. On Monday, I greet you as you come to take your position. 
that the high one must have to be fixed it and fix it gently. That is a high thing. I think the human yourself boys must watch the kicks from this goalkeeper. He usually kicks them long and hard. And that on its own can constitute a problem for the opponent. Okay? That is the. Um, pretty advantage golden boys. Is pretty taking. That defender from me, I say, as smallish as he looks, was able to get the ball up his area. And it is golden boys now. Try to move him from that right flank. He did one. That boy is very bad. But it's a. Uh, I think it's a, a hand kick. So says the referee, so says the assistant. And so we have a, a free kick advantage. Even yourself. That attacker has tried to lose the ball. Left hand on the defender. And so, situation is for ladies and gentlemen. Golden Boys FC. One goal. In USA, FC yet to score. We are still in the first half of this match. It is possible that uh, any of the teams can still score. It is possible that the USA can equalize and even score a winning goal. It is possible that Golden Boy can also score more goals than win. Anything can happen in this match because it is still open. It's a tricky situation. And uh, the ball rolls down and rolls out of the ball. I'm not going to throw it in by the USA MC. The boys are pressing hard. They are not comfortable that they are down. And they are pressing hard to see if they can get an equalizer. That ball rolls down. Uh, what is it for? Is it a corner kick or is it a goal kick? I... Okay, it looks like it's a corner kick. It was a defender that put it out. Coach Dennis Ayabon, my pastor and my manager, is in the house. Welcome aboard, Coach. It's a high limit. A sea of waves, a truck. He missed it. And now, and now, it is the golden boy searching for us. It is the golden boy searching for us. That long legged defender of England has a clear result. He missed it initially, but he quickly cleared it. He goes to throw in. Advantage. Golden Boys. That's the goal taken. A New Year's Day defender trying to get themselves out of trouble. The captain for New Year's Day is in possession. He dribbles his man. And the referee says there was a foul on him. And so we have. Uh, a pretty situation advantage you yourself. That can be for you yourself. Thanks. A long one. Can I get anything out of this? They are trying to see the sham, but they are not good. And they don't feel as good as the business. That's how they do it. It is really for somebody who is showing acts of decent to give him a verbal caution to say, I can allow you to get away with this, but not again after this time. I must inform many budget to men that uh, when the match was about to start, oh, that's it! Oh, when they can't go in, that's it! Oh, that's it! Oh, that's it! 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 Obviously, there was no way to have made that. That was a clear chance. Yes, we lost it. Yes, I can see that the goalkeeper is down. The goalkeeper is down and will be needing medical attention perhaps. What happened to him? Was there a collision? 
And he didn't jump up and then he landed badly. Let's see what the feet, but I can see he still left between his uh, legs, trying to get the feet again. I think the goalkeeper is up. He won't be needing any medical attention. It's water break. King of boys. So say the referee, Kisley, do. King of men. Water <laughs> break. And I'm still not directed. It won't last for more than two minutes. And one minute, this is the first place match. We have um, a reward too for getting to this stage. I wouldn't know. But here we are. Okay, look at my hands. Right now. Ah, you have to see the same. That's for a second. Did it? But the defenders of the golden boys wouldn't let them go. The ball is within the center circle, that is a beautiful high team by that team with a set player. They are still extending past you. Here they have the ball. The right uh, after that man for you, you see the two man, you know the pass. It's a goal. It's a goal. It's a goal. It's a goal. It is one one. It is one one. Like, uh, that, 
The God of God of God of God wants to take that thing himself. Yes, I agree with you. He has a monkey, but you should know that he's taking a risk. If he misses it and has a counter attack, well, he will manage whatever he gets. You are taking a bad man and something like that. Oh, no, you are just playing to harass you. No proof from the opponent. What was that? You know what you do for... You know what you do? Put the opponent down. And you know what you started his whistle. It's a big thing. I'm not saying Golden Boy. Not a catchy shape for Golden Boy. Go for it. It takes a long one. What is coming out of it? It is the Golden Boy. Try to see what they can do. And the referee keeps me doing something with you for the end of the first half. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of proceedings. I can see one player of Golden Boy down on the top. Many good things can rush in and help him because the first half is already over. You don't need the referee to call you. You can move in and assist him. That player is down. I don't know whether he's done. But if you start report at the end of the first half, ladies and gentlemen, Golden Boy is FC. One goal. In the U.S.A.S.C. One goal. And if this situation remains at the end of the second half, we will then be going to smash. Remember that the first half ended one goal apiece. That is, one goal for the Golden Boys and one goal for the U.S.A.S.C. So we will be defeating the second half of that goal of Mali.
shift pull away from the game arena. Uh -huh. okay. Thank you very much. That ball was a good ball. We made a very beautiful touch. But we don't have any last position to your comments. It is the only way to try to take control now. I don't have to link up according to now. It's a good thing to see the assistant referee and the car and kids that are here. It's a good thing. I don't think it's the only way to take control now. It's a good thing. The government is refusing to concede any grounds. They are refusing to yield. They are mounting pressure, but they haven't got a goal. That is why the new election has been the goal. I'm not in the ball, but that number, that is the best number. That player of the voting ball is didn't yield any space. That number two shares for the voting ball. That is the point. He throws it. His man said that was a push, the man from uh, the back was too bad. It's a very big advantage for you, I said. A long, long... It's a very advantage to me as well. How to assess the referee is the duty at the same time. And so the referee will be better when we be taken this time about the wedding price. It's going to be taken. It's another play in the process of the referee. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the match. So one, voting was one. All the teams of Amor. We will immediately go into a penalty shoot to determine the winner of this match. And immediately that is done, we will look into the finals. I think what we need to do here is that uh, each coach or each captain or any other we are still on Amor. I think that must answer one. I'm not sure we will answer the two. Because it's only one thing that can win. Ladies and gentlemen, the two parties have approached or are approaching the referee to determine who takes the first kick and who takes the second kick or to determine who part of the field will be used. That is up to the referee and the two parties to determine. And uh, it is a penalty shootout in order to determine the winner of the first match. Please know as players that you are not to leave the field of play. If you step out of the field of play, there will be a problem. You are expected to stay in the center circle. And we have a final match coming up almost immediately. So we cannot afford to go down here. Please select your five players so that we can go down and conclude this match. We have a final match that will be in the beginning to arrive. And so we need to, to conclude this first match. Let coaches make their selections. No coaches now. It is not now that any coach will tell the player how to play them out. Please let us go down. All players who are who completed the match will be the same as they will now. All players who are in the field of play when the match ended should proceed to the same as they will now. The rest is working. The assistant of the team one is working with him there. So the assistant of the team two is working with him there. In the corner field there. The assistant of the team one is standing in the center circle. Working for the right here to find him.
Notre équipe Sigma, on a bien son rôle de
Um, on the screen are the coaches of the two teams that are playing for the finals today. So, sir, just tell us your name. I'm Pastor Comrade Coach Harrison. KG that's on the line. They don't go for the So, you? Uh, I'm a fan of the Head coach is top of the club. All right, thank you very much. The other of our game of TPC for this round of the competition. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. Uh, I know there are many more people in the The players are also in the field of play. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, uh, the referees are uh, working with the two captains to decide who takes the kickoff and uh, who defines the kickoff or who chooses a side or who can choose a side. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been truly informed that uh, the deputy governor of Delta State, His Excellency Elda uh, Mondo Nyaman, is here represented by. Honorable Vita Oko and Honorable Ugo Ogweni, please let me a round of applause. I've been seeing Henry Mosu for the first time. Don't forget that he was formerly the captain of uh, Super Eagles of Nigeria. Oh, green Eagles in those days, but the Eagles are no longer green, they are now super. I'm sure Henry Mosu can still play football. I know he will not, uh, no, he needs permission from, from his wife to go into the field to play. Uh, because uh, I will not be able to answer any questions. Very soon, we shall be inviting uh, Dr. Donald Peterson and his supporters to step down and take the ceremonial kickoff. And Dr. Peterson was here and he took the ceremonial kickoff. By the way, I took note. He kicked that ball with his left leg. I took note of it. And the team that the ball went to their side lost that match. What is going to happen today? When he took the kick with his right leg, which team will the ball go to their side? Not the other ball, but we will soon find out. <laughs> and I think that one will be clear. And this is the time for us to invite the Dr. Peterson to so sit down with his colleagues and take the ceremonial kickoff. Dr. Peterson, as I see the representatives of uh, the deputy governor and the government of the world with him, as I see many other persons supporting him, and they want uh, gently. Yes, he has asked uh, Amadou Vito Oko, who was formerly the chairman of this local government area. So and they march towards the well left me on the march. Uh, Mr. Kisling or I can see two of them uh, marching into the field of play to go take the ceremonial kickoff. I can also see cameramen accompanying them and recording every incident. Ladies and gentlemen, permit me to inform you that uh, this very much you are watching here was the youngest player in the Vinicius team of 1980 when Nigeria won the Nations Cup for the first time. He was the youngest player in that team. And he was a mesmerizer for the Cameroonian team. I remember all of that. I watched him on television then.
was it black and white television? Because as soon as he kicks the ball, I think it was black and white television then. <laughs> He was there, and uh, I think uh, uh, the president at that time was Alaji Shehu Shagare. It was after that match that Henry Wilson and his colleagues got the National Order of M.O.N. Member Order of the Niger. Congratulations, Henry Wilson. Thank you very much for being in our midst today. I like that. God bless you for everything you are doing for us. I just wish you could continue to play. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it was an obvious call that put the kick on. Uh, Dr. Peterson didn't want to be drawn into the controversy of uh, who had the kick into and uh, who will win and who will not win. It is now an obvious uh, victor, okay? And he played the ball into the hands of the people wearing lemon and white. We will want to see whether they will win or lose. How will make a good after the match? Thank you very much for stepping out on the field of play. And as they step out to resume their seats, maybe play himself with his group. Whenever you talk football in Nigeria, national football, you must mention Henry Wilson. Wait a minute. The thing is that I think you are going to chuckle. A man of the car has to hang his boots and walk from the sidelines. Let's come back to the recruitment for his feet. Back to the field of play, the referees for the match are Sandra Referee, Kingsley, Osawai, A.R. Wanguchu, 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 and first official and the government will be general for the minute. The first official is Mr. Sam Osai. And that is the rest of signal for the commencement of the first half of this match. And I think you think the passes, but uh, that one has no man for a throwing advantage during points. I think the other boys are full line. The other boys are never lines or the other boys are bubble. I think the other boys are bubble. boys and the static football club, why the German boys and the KG Delta Milan? I was going to think it was Delta Milan or AC Milan, but this is KG Delta Milan, both of Cabo.
Okay, let me have done. I think uh, one player is injured. And the only of the bank that they have to give you political attention. Meanwhile, ladies and gentlemen, we have some other dignities in the house. We have here with us Honorable Emmanuel Mama, SSA to the Governor of Community Development. Honorable Mama, you are welcome to this venue. Thank you for joining us. We also have uh, Mr. Ali Mokou, the NEC chairman for the Council of Mr. Ali Mokou, Mr. Ali Mokou, We have uh, Mr. Mokou here. He is known as King of Men. Mr. Mokou is the chairman of the KG Delta Milan. That is the thing that is very popular. Thank you and welcome to this video, Mr. Uh, Mokou. I'm happy to look at you and the defining of this competition. The God bless you and bless your efforts. And may your team go higher and higher beyond this level. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Well, thank you for the people of the world, ladies and gentlemen. It is still uh, a situation of uh, levels on either side. We are going to be through a play on that one end. And that player from the orange side does it great. And they are breaking for that attack away. They didn't kick it well. That orange boy missed it. They could not kick it well. And so the ball rolled out handlessly. It's a great kick. Advantage. The purple boys. The KG Milan. From one to another three. This time is the only point that will take you through. The party. The band is on. And they take a throw. I think the player that was injured is ready to return to the field of play when the referee allows him. We have the court and the field of play that is a t-shirt for the orange boys, the static. If the eyes go to the top of the I'm not sure of that. I don't know, I'm not very sure of it, so I will go through it. A quick hit, quick hit second by the goalkeeper of KG Milan. It is like it is well. I saw the throw in advantage. The only one is uh, the party. They are trying to control the ball, but they have seen they have lost control of the ball. They are coaching chess, something are controlling. They must be a player himself. And the purple ball, the KG Milan is here. Remember the owner of your club, the chief executive officer is here. And I'm sure he will remind you to have something if you win this competition. It's another train. This time, advantage the only ones. That was a few seconds, but that ball was kicked away endlessly. And so now the goal kick, advantage, star kick, MC of Arbo. The welcome everybody to the Arbo Township Stadium. What this whole thing is happening. You know, I told you before on the day of the opening ceremony that I did not meet Dr. Peterson as a football. I can't remember what he did play football, whether on the streets or in the field. I know he's a man who did a lot of reading. He's a man who loves academics. And he's a man who has three years in program. He says the body down. He says the body down. I am welcoming to this place Chief Lee 
Is he going to pray? I just read that a direct one to teach the show on the video to the door for the people to stop. I don't know what happened to you. I don't know what happened to you. I don't know what happened to you. Thank you. 
He throws to his man. Who gets the ball back to him? I like that. He tried to dribble. He couldn't find dribble. That's a defender of uh, Orange Boys. He refused to be dribbled. So he's in him. And ball is in the control of. Uh, Of the orange boys now, La Mans, Armin. Let's watch and see. It's going to be another throw in. Advantage. Static. That number nine shirt is conscientious and he's always taking his throws. Now he's to take a kick. He didn't quite get it the way he wanted to get it, but uh, he gets a team better anyway, although they don't really notice his uh, an infringement. Ball is within the center circle. Welcome to our meet. We appreciate your presence here. God bless you for coming to honor all of us. We are back to the field of action now. It is crazy, but I'm glad to join you. Yeah. 
Angola de Arambé, fais que tout le monde. Je qui pense à une vie. Quand vous avez des gens, il y a ce temps qui fait pour la part, qui fait pour la part. Et vous êtes bien fait, non Quand on a dit que ma espèce a un fabric, ma terre de l'autre, une notice, something, ma terre, une de vous, une de vous, une de vous, une de vous, une de vous. Si tu as un dictateur, que Dieu vient par Milan, non, Patrick FC of Ada, Yacht Toscan, en bas de 541, vous ne faites pas prêt pour 5 minutes, en bas de la bataille, vous ne faites pas prêt pour 5 minutes, vous ne faites pas prêt pour 5 minutes, there is an interesting and disturbing trials going on as we speak, and I will explain what that means. And there is Ita on the 17th finals going on the same time. It has never happened. Now, the interesting on the 17th trials is while the players have been playing in their tournaments, scouts are picking talents and advance to Abuja and ultimately probably Europe. And uh, while that is going, which is the sole reason why this tournament was actually established, it is to connect value to purpose. But we understood that um, when you want to encourage people, you also need to appreciate them. And appreciate we must through medals, trophies, and cash prizes. That explains the ICA on the 17th football final that is going on the watching presently. And guess what? We are not just doing it on our own, we are all doing it together. Your presence here is encouraging and has encouraged the players out there. What we pray for is that at the end of this tournament, there are no winners and losers. What you find out are people that with frontline talents that will advance to the next stage and people that have talent that will go back and improve on their talent and come back again because this tournament is going to be a continuous thing. What are we trying to do? Like I say, I might not know how to play football. I've actually never played football. Except that day I was asked to take the kick and I kicked it with the left foot. I don't know where the football went. That was my first of playing football. But one thing I know that you cannot take away from me is the business and the economics of football. Football is now a global venture. It's a global industry. For example, right here we have uh, veterans and icon in football. Uh, Mr. Mosul is here in the morning. Um, just imagine if when he was playing really great games that is now. Imagine what that would be, the kind of industry that would have been created by him alone. But of course, even his name still resonates to people. When young players see him, they remember how talented he was and want to, of course, better uh, whatever that achievement that he has uh, made. And that's what we're seeing here. And we have quite other people. You see, Apple, Babylon, is now a global icon because of football and so many others. I recall the story of uh, Osimo. Osimo, as we said, used to sell water, pure water on the street of Lagos. But today, is this selling pure water? Say so thanks to God and um, through football. That football, through football, was able to be discovered. And today, Osimo is sustaining life. There are so many industries that are built around him. Around that is ground for seeing it. So see, this is the kind of business that we are trying to do. You know, things have changed and we have to be innovative and creative about business. 
business is no longer when you have to set up a shop or you have to set up a factory. That is not just business. There are people that are selling millions of naira every day and that only in the shop. Online shop. Uh, I have an online kitchen. You don't have to have a Facebook restaurant where people come in to eat. So you can have an online restaurant where people order food and you will deliver to them. So many of it like that. And football is not an exception. There are so many things that are involved in the business of football. It's not just picking the ball around and not as the business in the business of football. There are so many other businesses that hands around that is connected to the game of football. And also, another thing that we hear from this tournament is the training of our referees and our coaches. Just imagine if from this trial we can we succeed to get one to five persons to Europe for further trials and they will be signing up. Imagine when they are to be signed up and the person that are coaching them or the referees that are officiated in the mind that you them up do not have the requisite certificates. So what we're going to do with this as a foundation is we're going to sponsor all the that will happen and we believe that true football, true soccer and um, that by the grace of God we will experience a miracle. A miracle in the land of Ica where we will have one of our international playing in any of these clubs. You know Nigeria is there. Added followers and added supporters of clubs in Europe and around the world. And just imagine and the enemy is called upon and then you know, I mean, you are playing in Europe and you can see what that will do to other people. Also seated here is that when they leave here, the name that will be wheeled out, apart from the medal, the trophy, the cash prizes, the name that will be wheeled out from here will have the opportunity to go to Abuja to go to try. Guess what? You see this in another country. And a third person happens to be the secretary of the under 17 um, football association, I guess. Yeah, that's not true. And that person happens to be the secretary. He's right there waiting for them to come to Abuja so that they can also help to you know, improve on their talent and help them in connecting these talents to purpose. You can see that the development of football as a business in the Kalan is very timely. So I encourage everyone, let's put hands together. Let's develop these young ones. Let's develop this beautiful game that we so love and let it be lifted up again and let there be light in the car in terms of entrepreneurship development. I welcome you all. Thank you very much. As you are Thank you, CEO, to put us in a position. I really don't know if the MC has done justice to you. Most of them here. I've just seen my senior brother, the PDP chairman, the other artist, where we choose Agua, sitting down with his glasses. Can we please talk to him? For information, I see all the guys, I want to talk to him. Honorable Ono Kapi, from the Canadians, well represented. You don't have to go, please stand up. You don't have to go. I hope you stand for the second show of PDP in Canadians. National coach. Yes, the national coach. My brother, my friend, the woman is here in the house. Who is the one who is in the house? Tony, what you came after us in the future, you have a reputation. Okay, what is it? What is it for Tony? The father of all fathers, the father of KG Sports, the father of his heart, the father of KG and Alfie is in the house, with his beautiful cap, waving his hand. Go back and you say hello. Our commissioner, that has promised the NOC something today that is going to talk after I've been talking that the NOC must go on to something that they will smile about. Can we please clap for all of you so many? Can we clap for you? You better to go 
next set of Kano one force, the next set of Jeju cultures, the next set of Hellcoms, and the next set of Ahmed Musas. There is no place in that is from Umunende and is playing in Leicester City. We can have many more such persons as we move ahead. It's a true, ladies and gentlemen, advantage uh, during points that are also called Starkey, number 87, take back to you, to nobody particular, a header for dropping the positive, try to control it, they couldn't quite get it. It is uh, the Starkey team trying to see whether they can get an equalizer, they are singing together a number of passes. Uh, They are still in control of the ball, but they are able to get anything out of it. I do not know what I am watching, and uh, they get a throw in finally. Okay, start pick is from uh, Owale. I am suspecting that uh, Coach Lucky is from Owale too. Just a suspicion though, because I know he lives there. Huh? Okay, pass the chairman of Owale. It's from Owale. Okay, he's here. His boys cannot put him to shame. Peterson is from Apple and uh, ah, that's a dangerous kick. That's a dangerous kick. And I'm not sure the referee will allow it to be like that. That's a yellow card for that number seven. He's opening his eyes to say, kick on me, kick on me, how many men? But we'll see you from here. Medical team to attend to that injured goalkeeper, but let that goalkeeper not use it as an opportunity to slip off there. Yeah. I know his team is.
to play again, but now this match comes to an end. It will never be done again. It will never be done again. For the top position, second position, and the top position.
Commission on Law Research Lab. Bless you, sir.
Ah, good day, sir. Yeah, Just tell us your name, sir. My name is Engineer Man Mama Chips. Well, I know you are the senior special, special assistant to the government and community development. So, how do you see the event that just ended today yeah. in the light of community development? Yes, it's a good one. Uh, this uh, is this, uh, catching them young because uh, whether you like it or not, the initiator and the host of this uh, football tournament, uh, Dr. Peter Sinunibe, uh, has identified with the young people and, make, and seen how he can bring out the best of them and as community development in area of human capital development. Because whether you like it or not, when you catch, when you catch these keys and the talent in the young people, you begin to also improve in them. I want to encourage him and I want to also appreciate him for all he has done. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. This on the seventh day, the one year to become an adult. I believe by then they are getting a year to adults. And whatever they do there, if now they are if you better, you know, always admonish them, to encourage them, to advise them, and letting them understand that this beautiful game of football can actually change their life, change their destiny. So you know, um, everything works together. Even in your body, you know, there are some fingers that you, there is no finger that is used. First, you must know that Delta State, Delta Force Commission is the only thing in Delta State. The chairman or the members do not live or are not in every village and community. But you and I and everyone here are in this community. So what do we do? We identify those key talents, those who are skilled, and present to them. How present them, they can keep it up from there. So it is where we all work in synergy. That is how we system. His Excellency is building a new Delta. We Delta must find people. And uh, the former governor has written us as a state. His Excellency is about building on that. And building on that means a total attitudinal change along the spectrum of how we do things. So it takes it's one step at a time. He said the second step is the beginning of a million more. So we believe that additional change will start from now and we hope that that merit will actually carry today. It's my talking with you, Dr. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sir, so, so just um, expatiate on the business aspect of football. It's very simple. Let me put it this way. I'll draw an analogy. Osime, some years back, was selling pure water in the street of Lagos. Selling of pure water, you could consider as a business. It's a small business, okay, or a micro business. But somehow, while carrying the pure water and hawking it, he was having inside of him a talent that the world needs. Someone identified that talent and connected that talent to focus. That is why Osime now is known all over the world. When he was selling the pure water, neither you nor me knew Osime. But today we've been able to know him by the virtue of the fact that the talent in him was identified and connected to focus. Same thing we are doing here. Thank you very much, sir. That's the final your name, sir. I am um, Dr. Donald Peterson, the Special Advisor on Entrepreneurship and Development to the Government of Delta State. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir.